with growing population and increasing health risk among people of all age, an efficient healthcare delivery system is the need of the hour. I am Antara from Decision Sciences area and in my thesis we are looking at three different problems in healthcare sector and trying to come up with data-driven models for the efficient working of healthcare system. As per Indian Heart Association, India accounts for 60% of the world's heart disease burden. Sudden cardiac arrest being one of the reasons contributing to the mortality for in-hospital patients. To provide better patient care, hospitals now have various response systems and hospital emergency codes. Code Blue is one hospital emergency code activated when a patient experiences sudden cardiac or respiratory arrest. Many hospitals have a Code Blue team that responds immediately after a Code Blue is initiated and performs cardiopulmonary resuscitation, commonly known as CPR. The announcement of Code Blue for patients suddenly increases the pressure on medical team to provide treatment. In my first essay, we are building a mechanism for the early identification of Code Blue for in-hospital patients. Natural language processing has been used to identify features. The extracted features along with other electronic medical records have been used to build the final machine learning model. Although ML models have high predicting power, they lack explaining ability and sometimes it becomes difficult for the healthcare providers to understand these models as healthcare involves a lot of complexity and decision making at different stages. We use explainable artificial intelligence methods to interpret the model. Based on these findings, hospital managers will be able to reframe the policy regarding the announcement of Code Blue. In the next part of my thesis, I am looking at the problem of medication error in hospitals. In literature, medication error has been explained as a failure in treatment process that leads to or has the potential to lead to harm the patients. Uh, medication error can occur in any step of process, including prescribing, dispensing, administering, or transcribing. We are studying how different factors in hospitals, such as department size, its composition, example number of doctors, their experience, and number of footfall of patients, etc., leads to medication error. In the last part of my thesis, we are exploring the problem of fall in elderly people. WHO, in one of their reports, stated that fall is the second leading cause of unintentional injury death worldwide. Fall can lead to consequential health risk in elderly people. There are IoT-enabled devices to detect fall. We are using IoT variable device data to identify the genuine fall and reduce the number of false alarms generated in a fall detection system using deep learning algorithms. Thank you.